I feel like I might have been the only person who didn't see this in advanced screening. Practically every single person that I follow on YouTube or Twitter had a review up literally weeks ago. I mean, come on guys, don't you know how influential I am? I believe I can fly. Well finally it's my turn because La La Land has La La Landed. Finally I get to see what all the buzz is about. I mean all I've heard about for weeks now is how absolutely amazing La La Land is. People whose opinions I massively respect were just gushing over this film. It won every Golden Globe it was nominated for and it now has the most Golden Globes of any film ever. I was a bit apprehensive because there's just no way it can live up to that level of hype, right? Wrong! Me, this is good. La La Land follows a couple played by Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone, two dreamers trying to make it in Hollywood. Stone is an aspiring actress on the additions and coffee shop grind, while Gosling is a super talented and passionate jazz pianist. Pianist! Calm down. They meet, quickly fall in love, and we are taking on a magical journey in the vein of classic musicals through the highs and lows of trying to forge a career in an often brutal and unforgiving world. It's written and directed by Damien Chazelle, the guy behind 2014's critically loved Whiplash, a story about a guy pursuing his burning love of jazz drumming. Similarly, La La Land has Gosling as a guy pursuing his burning love of jazz piano, which might sound like maybe Chazelle doesn't have too many original ideas, but it's not that at all. It's that the guy has a real passion that shines through in every frame of this. I mean, it's practically the movie equivalent of You like jazz? You like jazz? You like jazz? Chazelle has written and directed this beautifully. First of all, it's shot and presented in full cinema scopes with lovely colour palettes that's just great to see. He fills it with long, sweeping takes and unbroken shots for the dance scenes which totally draw you into these characters' world. Every shot bar one is either locked down or on a dolly or a jib which gives it a fluid, enthralling feel that I promise is an absolute joy to watch. That one exception is when the leads get into an unexpected argument and Giselle switches to handheld which heightens the unrest and the confusion that these characters are feeling at that point in time. It may not be the most subtle thing but I was like... I love it. Damien Chazelle obviously has a distinct affection for this genre of film and this is his love letter to that age of classic MGM musicals. Honestly, if Stanley Donen was still making films today, this is exactly what they would look like. Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone light up the screen with full on 1930s Ginger and Fred charm, carrying the movie effortlessly. After starring in Gangster Squad and Crazy Stupid Love together, they clearly have a real friendship and chemistry to spare, and you could swear they've jumped in a time machine straight from the golden age of musicals. The supporting cast includes J.K. Simmons and John Legend, both of whom turn in great performances, even if Simmons is a little underutilised. John Legend gets to perform a song that turns out to be one of the best in the soundtrack, although nothing will top Gosling's City of Stars. La La Land is, I'm about 99% sure, going to win Best Picture at the Oscars. Maybe Moonlight might top it, but La La Land seems to have been tailor-made for Oscar glory. We know that Hollywood loves to pat itself in the back, and a movie like this that basically reaffirms love for LA, musicals, and old Hollywood is sure to dominate, but that's not a slight. This arguably is the best film of the year, and some would argue the last several years. In fact, several times throughout this I was reminded of The Artist, which did win Best Picture in 2000. I'm going to make it clear, my expectations for La La Land going in were sky high and they were met, if not exceeded. This is going to sound weird but it's a film that simultaneously breaks the heart and makes it sore. I can't remember the last time I was this genuinely happy watching a film, I mean I had a big cheesy grin slapped across my face from start to finish. If you want to know how much I really, really loved this, I saw it for the first time on Friday night and then again on Saturday morning. Of course I'm giving La La Land 5 popcorns. If you only see one film in the cinema in 2017, make sure it's La La Land. Thanks very much for watching my review of La La Land. If you liked it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you want some more of my thoughts on Ryan Gosling, you can click the box below to see my review of The Nice Guys, or you can click that box to see my latest video. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. So again, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.